Okay, so today let's talk pre-emergence for the lawn. Um, I watch, as far as, I watch a lot of YouTube myself, and uh, one of the main people I follow with lawn care is the lawn care nut, uh, Alan Hain. He does a great job. I highly recommend his videos. I've learned so much from him, um, and I've started applying a lot of the things that he's taught to my own lawn when it comes to uh, pre-emergence and fertilizing and that type of stuff, weed control. So twice a year, I put a pre-emergent on my lawn. I do the early spring and then I do in the fall again. And since I've been doing that, it's kept me from having to combat weeds like all year in between. So what I use is the same thing I believe he's recommended. I use uh, prodiamine. And this is a it's barricade, a generic of it. It's uh, a little bit expensive, but when you consider how far it goes and how long it lasts, it's really not that bad. Um, I've got it figured up for my lawn. What I use is a, uh, a 20, no, it's a 30 gallon um, sprayer that I pull on the back of my lawn mower, and I go around my front yard with that, putting it out. I've measured my front lawn out and I have 6,000 square feet of grass in my front lawn, and then I have my backyard as well. Apologize for the vehicles, some of my neighbors. Um, in my backyard, I use my backpack sprayer because there's so many little hills and inclines and things. Uh, same reason I have to push mow it. It's hard to get my riding mower and that sprayer around through there. So I use my backpack for the backyard, but for the front yard, I use my riding mower and uh, pull along sprayer. The uh, sprayer that I used is a Finco, and I picked it up at Tractor Supply. I think it was about 300 to 349, somewhere in that range. I'll try to find a, a link for it, or I'll try to remember to post a link for it in the description so you can check it out if you'd like. It's worked very well for me. Uh, I started out, when I first started doing this program, I started using my backpack sprayer and it took forever to do the front lawn. So I really got tired of it. So I invested the $300 in that pull behind sprayer, which I'll show you in just a second. And I'll try to get a little bit of footage of me spraying my yard as well. Um, it's not the ideal day to do it because we have a little bit of wind today as we're transitioning into the fall. Um, so I'll probably get some of the spray blown on to me, but that's okay, I don't mind. I'll try to make sure I get enough adequate coverage though. So as far as on the Prodiamine, you know, read your instructions. Uh, it takes me about six full cups or whatever to that sprayer that I do uh, for what I'm putting down on my lawn. Um, I also add this product to the tank called Market Blue. Uh, I buy both of these off Amazon and we'll put the links in there. And please, if you get a chance, I've just discovered how I can do this. I set up my account with Amazon, so I use an affiliate link uh, in my descriptions for the products that I use. If you have the intentions of buying these products, I really would appreciate if you would use my link. Uh, that way I get a small percentage of the sale, and uh, it really helps me out a lot as far as growing the channel. Um, when I first started this, I didn't know how much, how expensive it was going to be to get started in the equipment I've purchased. So. You know, I pay $20 a month just on the video editing tools and then all the camera, microphone, GoPros, that type stuff. So the equipment's gotten a little expensive. So right now I'm in the hole with the channel. So it really does help me out if you uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. And then if you use my affiliate links, it really helps me and goes a long way. So I think that's about all really I wanted to discuss about it. This my yard as well um, and we'll do another video of that sometime but I uh, I seeded my entire front yard with Zenith Zoysia and it's a super sod product the backyard I actually bought the same type grass and sod and rolled the sod out I did sod in the backyard because of the hills and if I tried to seed it when I'd get rain the seed would wash away even if I put straw over it and tried some of the screen I, it, I really had a lot of difficulty doing that so I finally broke down and put sod in the back but I have the same type grass in the front and I just seeded it. My yard looks a little bit rough right now because we've had some dry spells here and I haven't gotten around to doing a lot of watering like I used to stay on top of. It used to be really beautiful and now I've got a lot of heat spots and heat stress in my yard, but 
I'm gonna continue to work on that and see if I can put a little more time into it this next year. If you have any questions about any of the products or anything that I use or talk about, please hit me up in the comments or shoot me an email. You can find that on the channel and uh, let me know. I, I love talking about this stuff and uh, I love getting out in the yard and doing this work. I'm uh, really an out of shape dad, but I try to get out and do all that I can hands on myself. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching. Okay, everybody. So this is the setup that I use to put the to apply the prodiamine. Um, like I said, it's very effective and works very well for me. Um, I'll actually make a couple of laps on camera so you can just see it, you know, running through the sprayer and how it works. So bear with me just a minute. 